Okay, so, um, uh, do I still have my lava fabricators? I don't think, no. Did I leave them behind? Maybe, I might have. Uh, I don't have any obsidian on me. That's easy. Slime. No, it doesn't make the same. Fortunately, I still have large slime. I'll just do the murdering in my own home here. Giant slime. There we go. Fire on fire on fire out out out. Thank you, cooling system. Tum ti tum ti tum. There we go, now I can go around murdering everything. Because of the nature of my house, it's not exactly hard to kill all these slimes. And, and they're not dying in the walls and things. Fortunately, the green slimes can get really, really big, so making lots and lots of green slime is really easy. Ah, my finger is just not feeling up to clicking speed at the moment. Ah, shit. Go, plug the hole. Mm, nope. Oops. Yep. Dum -de dum -de dum dum -de dum -de dum I have no idea why he's not getting power. Do, 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 do. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Always loves doing that. I 
We're gonna need a harder floor than Blackstone to deal with my power fist. This is why I had the uh, the death death key by layer the floor with something tougher. Tum ti tum ti tum ti tum ti tum. Now I can just punch them normally. Come to me, my little bunny things. This is why I had the death key before. It makes it so much easier killing them. So much easier. Okay. I think that's all the slimes. Two and a bit stacks of slime. You know, I know that was a while of killing, but that's, that's plenty. Slime. Uh, magma cream. There we go. Lava fabricator. Uh, sorry, lava fabricator. Like so. I just need obsidian, which is easy. Ah, uh, okay. Um, head down one more time. Oh, there's two of my lava fabs already. Uh, I'm make a quick exchange here, actually. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, God. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Da, 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 da. Down we go. Down we go. This is a lot of tanks of lava. There we go. Ah, dear. Ha. There we go. Down we go again. Grab. Back up. Up. Ooh, again. I keep forgetting it's two floors. I don't normally go down to the bottommost floor too often. Okay, uh, aqueous accumulator. 15 other things. Water. No. Bucket. Just two. And uh, igneous. Just the one. Tum -de -tum -de -tum. Oh, wait, what? I have 20 levels since when? What did I do? This is new. Oh, right, I killed all the slimes. Duh. Stupid. <laughs> That's my dumb voice. It's it's quite appropriate most of the time. Uh, okay, so Ignis Extruder can go... Uh... I figure it can go between them, like so. Increase accumulator can go here. Let's do that and that, like so. Uh, place the bottom with something else. Grab you. No point in leaving things lying around. Oh god. For some reason decided didn't want to move the mouse. Okay. Uh I just get actually no, I get more factory locks. Instead of getting blackstone again. But then this is factory blocks again. Uh no, normally that goes like that. Uh uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, only on top. Like so. Like 
that, and the water levels are slowly rising. You're full of lava. You're full of shit. I mean, um... I don't know why that one's not operating properly, but hey. I'm just gonna get another piece of, uh... Cover. There we go. Have a stack. Down we go. Water. Right, there we go, that's more like it. There we go, and then the water levels are rising and this will just chug obsidian. That is much more... Please ignore the fact that I'm throwing my microphone around. Yeah, so that is much more useful. Um, ooh, thunder and lightning, fun. Oh yeah, that is list. That's not any staff. Yeah, there we go. Already getting like that many. Four obsidian is pretty much all I need at this point. Actually, no. I'm making four, aren't I? Two. Three. Yeah, this other thing happily refills with water before it even makes the next obsidian. Uh, lava. Fab. Lava is just fab. There we go. Four lava fabricators. Now, uh, how do I prove... Uh, magmatic. I uh, have four magmatic dynamos. I'm sure I could make more in a pinch. How much invar do I have? Magmatic. Wait, in invar. I have two invar gears. No, no. I, I, need, to do, I need to do some sums. I need 40 gears, uh, and iron, Invar. I'm kind of glad the rain's gone, but everything's really eerily quiet now, it's very strange, okay, clicking mad, just gets through a bit, a bit more quickly. There we go, 40 gears. And mag magmatic. There we go. 24 magmatic dynamos. Done. I know I'm displaying this, but it's just ridiculous how powerful this is. Uh, let's take my lava tanks as an example. Ooh, actually, you know, a lava drum. Yes, please. Yeah, they don't, they're not registering as lava, they're just registering as reinforced portable tanks that simply have lava in them. Uh, where to set this up? Uh, conduit. Uh, oh, actually, I do have 90 conduit. Bloody hell, I didn't realise I had that many. I thought I had, like, none running around. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Bananas. Let's head down, actually. Uh... Let's just do it outside. Uh, just as a testing example of how this works, uh, I need fluid as well. And uh, fluid duct. And I need a cell. I need cells to charge. Uh, fuck it. Alright, let's do this. Let's, uh,. Drain you if possible. Plug you into the network. I can just do this. Like so. You're just not draining. Why is every cell full? Everything's just frozen up here. It's bloody weird, I tell you that.
Okay, let's try and see if that worked. Uh, minus 31%? Oh, there we go. Unloading worked. Freaking lasers. There we go. All right, yeah, you're unloading as well. Okay, problem solved. Everything's hockey. Hockey. Right, oh, yeah, the one on the left, whole left is about there. <sighs> mm. Yeah, their um, little town's coming along nicely. It's. I, I kind of like compact designs. Because it's kind of amazing what some people can fit into small spaces. Oh, God, this is going to turn into two episodes at this rate. Oh, that's a first. First for a long time, at least. Uh, you're still not brilliant, though, but minus 31%, so... Yeah, okay, yeah, you are slowly being drained. Oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, that was scary. Now, I'm draining energy cells so I can actually display this fucking lava pad thing. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to start the episode of Fresh. And, uh, do it from there. Do, 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 draining, 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 cell, ba, ba, ba. Hello, and welcome back to Decify. Today, we will be looking at what I think is probably the stupidest and most broken and probably the most widely used thing in all of Decify, which would be the Lava Fab Power Generation Loop. Uh, well, I have a fabricator. Basically, in kind of small terms, I'm just going to describe it here while I set up. Uh, the lava fabricator takes in power, makes lava. Brilliant, that's all it does. That's all it needs to do. Um, however, there is a bit of a, an issue with this thing. Is It makes more lava than uh, the power it, you put in. Oh, excuse me. Actually, hang on. Move you. Being as that tends to be an issue, um, uh, it's not brilliant, really, is it? Uh, let's see. Instead of having like that, let's have it more like this. There we go. Three, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, that's nine, five, that would leave me with four, so I just need you, two, three, at least it's six necessary, and uh, I'll just do this. As you can tell, I'm still not perfectly well. Now, this isn't exactly a tutorial because I don't really advocate this system, but, you know, fuck it. I'm going to tell you how it works. Even if I don't believe in it, that's not my that's not my choice. I'll tell you my moral views, by all means, but, uh, well, I say moral views. It makes it sound all high and mighty. Wait, I already have gumdots on me. Shit. Um, it makes it sound all high and mighty. Uh, no. I just, it's its technically a glitch, it's not meant to happen, it's, its so you know, it's, but nobody really cares, everyone's just like, whatever, because the update's gonna happen, so fuck it. Okay, you, nor, you all suddenly have lots and lots and lots of juicy, lovely lava. There we go. <coughs> Like so. Two, three, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. and da, 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 da. there we go. That's every single one of them. 
Now, the reason this is such a brilliant and yet stupid loop is quite simple, really. Here is a single cell. This thing will happily be powered at the speed of light, for whatever reason. This thing is going to get quite a bit of power per, tick, per tick. Say then I take this power and uh, I, I put it into the cell as an excess, but then I loop back the power. So that uh, everything that goes into here comes back. Oh, shit, like so. And I just link them up like that. And the idea being is they will make lava in exchange for power. This lava drum is still emptying, thank god. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Absolutely no idea. Now, this is filling up, so the amount of power going back into the lava fabs probably isn't insane. Because uh, the lava fabs do make a, can happily chop up all the energy. Um, actually, no. If, say, I remove the cell... This thing is now filling with lava insanely fast. It just... It makes way too much lava. <laughs> Come on. Every single one of these is still happily full making lava, making away lava. Judging by how this works, it may not actually be a glitch per se, because judging by how this is working, this actually is a legitimate positive loop. But... Yeah, everyone keeps saying it's a glitch, so fuck it, it's a glitch. Yes, I know, I swear a lot. It doesn't matter. Oh, um, let's see. Obviously, the idea behind this being is everything will go to the lava fabs, and after you're done with that, you'd probably just loop the power behind the lava fabs to say, like, here or something hook up everything and ensure, ensure the lava fabs get all the power first, like wrap them up and like that and prioritize it, and then you shut the cell like on the end here, and then it'd get the extra, which it does. And this level would still just climb, because all the power goes into this first. And that's your basic setup. It's, you know, I mean that was a fair bit of NVAR I used on these things, but even one of these and one lava fab will do the, do the trick, considering how it works. It's all you need. You don't, you, you don't necessarily need the drum as a buffer or any kind of tank. You could just loop the lava straight into the things, but when the lava backs up, then you kind of want to make sure that, you know, having a lava buffer always works anyway. Just having some kind of buffer always works. Mm. Buffer's almost full. Let's pay attention to this. And lava levels should start rising. In theory, once the conduits are full too. There we go. Lava's full, energy levels rising too, although they are flickering mildly. And the amount of power this cell will start receiving per tick will have accelerated quite massively. Yep. Now, this is a very tiny setup. This produces fuck all power compared to that turbine tower, but this is simple and easy to set up for anybody. It doesn't require the massive resource input to put, make, create a reactor, a turbine, and all the rest of the jazz. So if you want to make a laser, and or even if you're just trying to power your base, this is probably one of the ways to go. Short, quick, simple, and bloody cheating. Uh, that's happily full. Well, that's a good example of priorities and directions over uh, in, in conduits. The uh, west-facing ones, the westmost ones, are not getting the prior, um, not getting all the energy. The east ones are. <sighs> I am never using this. Did fuck this, fuck charging a cell. I'm just gonna leave this like this as an example. Literally, just be like example lava fab setup for everyone. Have fun, you crazy fuckers. I'm going to shorten the uh, system slightly. But the less magmatic um, dynamos you have, the less power it needs to suck, uh, the less lava it needs to suck up. 
So um, it does. It is kind of like twofold, if you will. The less, the more dynamos you have, the more lava it needs to suck up, the more energy it can give back to them, um, give to the back to the fabricators. So it's a quite a neat little system, actually. How it works is brilliant. I just wish it wasn't. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't as overpowered as it was. But mine factory reloader machines have always been a bit OP, a bit easy to use. Still, could be worse. Yeah, that fits more nicely. Uh, I'm gonna plug a sign on this saying example. Uh, no, no. Why am I typing example? Sign. That's what I want. Please ignore the massive amounts of division sigils. I totally haven't been killing with the boss lever and center. Okay. Uh, it. Example lava fab uh, fab loop. There we go. Enjoy. That's pretty much all there is to it. I don't know. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Yeah. But I, I can't think of really much more else to put uh, other than that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief and OP-filled episode. <sighs> I, I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm going to stop slating this thing. Look, it, it's brilliant. It's nifty. It works. If you want to run this in your base, go wild. It doesn't actually seem to be insane. Uh, the only person I know who's uh, tried to make this a working l laser alternative has spent so goddamn much on making Invar, it's just not even funny anymore. Um, and it doesn't even come close to my system. So, if you want a base power to power your base, go with this. If you want something to power a laser so you can get resources like I have, go with the turbines. Have fun. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Who knows if the update will happen, but uh, I really am looking forward to it because, oh, it looks good. Everything looks brilliant. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.